Hi, welcome to a new season of Golf Talk with Mike. I'm your host, Mike Bessa, and for this season, we're changing things up a bit. We're going to have a regular guest, so to speak. My friend and golf fellow golf blogger, Reggie Nolido. Welcome to the show, Reggie. Thank you. I thought we'd start this show off with uh, golf tourism. Now, you and I both know, we, we played a lot of golf, mm -hmm. and we both know that there are some gorgeous golf clubs and golf yes. courses in this country, and we're, we happen to be in one of them. Uh, East Ridge Golf Club, which is right in the heart of Binangonan in Rizal. This is a gorgeous place. Views overlooking the lake, rolling fairways, you know, imposing mountains, framing the holes. Why can't we get more tourists to come here the way that Thailand has, the way that Vietnam seems to be doing a good job of? What's your take on this, Reg? The way I see it, tourism really is a marketing play. How well do you market your product? In this case, let's talk about golf tourism and golf as a product in the Philippines. First, the positives. We have great courses, as you, as you mentioned. We've had some courses here that have been rated in Golf Digest as one of the top 100 courses in the world outside of the U.S. You have courses here that other people are saying can rival any golf course within the region. And so we do have the facility to be able to attract a good golf tourist market. Problem, however, is how to get the tourists in. Okay. One, it's a marketing thing. We don't really have well-defined tour packages. Unlike in Thailand, for example, where the Thailand government Correct. by itself has a program for golf tourism, for golf development. And that's what they try to sell. In fact, Thailand is now proclaiming itself to be Asia's hub for golf. That's something that we should do. What, what can we offer to the public? How about you, Mike? What do you think? In the Philippines, the problem is really one of infrastructure. All right. All right. Like in Thailand, you can fly, fly straight into Phuket from Australia, right? Where you've got a selection of some of the best golf courses, of which Blue Canyon happens to be one. Yes. All right. But the, it, if you look at where you have to fly into in Manila, right? Most of the golf courses are at least an hour outside of the city. Now, from what I understood, is there is a, a move to create an open skies policy, which will allow, A, foreign carriers to fly into the country to different, to different locations different in the locations. country, say to Cebu, directly to Boracay, uh -huh. maybe to Clark, you know? And that would help things along, won't, don't, don't you think? Definitely, it would only help if there is access to right. these golf courses. We do have a lot of these courses in, in provinces where you can't even identify if they have an airport or not. Right. Actually, one thing that I've read um, in, in golf packages of other countries is that they were able to coordinate with private clubs for the private clubs to allow for certain slots to be available to tourists. Can you imagine if one of the things that you can sell to a golf tourist is come to the Philippines, stay at a good hotel like the Manila Pin or the Shangri-La, play around in Manila Golf, which is the most exclusive oh, awesome. yeah. uh, course in the country. That would just be great. And, and the way I see it, there just needs to be an effort to coordinate. I think certain courses are going to be more receptive to this than others. There's no denying that it costs a lot of money to maintain a golf course. And I don't think that any golf course would be adverse to having a little more income on the side. That's right. So I think some courses will be more receptive than others. Uh, others might be a little reticent, True. you know, just for the fact that the members would be, you know, really value their privacy and are, are really unwilling to give that up. I think bottom line is we've got the raw materials here. You know, True. we have all of the raw materials here to become a great golfing destination. Now it's just a matter of coordination of the government with the clubs, A. B, improving the infrastructure to make it easier to get around, right? I mean, after all, who wants to get stuck in traffic That's right. after a long plane trip? That's right. And then, I think at that point, then the natural hospitality of the Filipinos is just going to take over. I hope we can get our it's action true. here because, you know, that would mean a lot for the industry and a lot for golf in the Philippines in general. So 
Thanks. Thanks for being on the show, Reggie. Thank you, Mike. We look forward to a lot more discussions like this in the future. So until next time, this is Mike Bessa. We'll see you again.